Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing a foundational Montessori math lesson, which is called Introducing the Names of the Power of Ten Using the Golden Beads. Now, this is one of those lessons that might seem incredibly simple at first. Four objects, four names, but there's so much depth here. Because what we're really doing is preparing the child to understand the entire decimal system. And that's something they will use again and again as they grow, especially when they move into linear counting from 11 to 100 and beyond. A lot of adult learners ask me, why do we teach such big concepts in early childhood? Do children really need to know this in preschool? And the answer is yes, but not in the abstract way that we learned it in school. In Montessori, we introduce mathematical ideas in a way that children can actually hold in their hands. They touch them, compare them, and feel the difference in size, weight, and value. This lesson lays the groundwork for everything that comes next. The materials are beautifully thought through. The unit bead is tiny. The 10 bar stretches across the mat. The 100 square feels a little wider in the hand and the thousand cube is solid and heavy. And this makes the impact. Children don't just hear the words 10, 100 and 1000. They build a muscular and visual memory of what those quantities feel like. This is what makes Montessori math so powerful. It's not rote. It's not rushed. It's real. In this presentation, we use the three period lesson, a gentle, structured way of introducing vocabulary in Montessori. First, we name the quantities, then we invite the child to show us each one, and finally, we ask them to recall the names on their own. It's calm, it's respectful, and it gives the child time to absorb. So let's take a look. So today I want to teach you the names of the symbols for the power of 10. This is one unit. Can you say one unit? One unit. Would you like to feel it? This is one ten. Can you say one ten? One ten. Would you like to feel it? This is one hundred. Can you say one hundred? One hundred. Would you like to feel it? This is one thousand. Can you say one thousand? One thousand. Would you like to feel it? Ria, can you show me one thousand? Can you show me one unit? Can you show me 110? Can you show me 100? Can you put 110 here? Can you put 100 here? Can you put 1000 here? Can you put one unit here? Okay, Ria, can you tell me what this is? One unit. Can you tell me what this is? One thousand. Can you tell me what this is? One ten. Can you tell me what this is? One hundred. Okay, so Ria, today we've learned the names for the symbols of the power of 10. We have learned 1000, 1000, 100, 110, 1 unit. Okay, so on another day, if you want to take this and explore again, you can take it and use it. Would you like to help me tidy? Okay, I'll just take you through a few things, then if you have questions, okay? So this is one of the 
two times that we do a three period lesson with four items otherwise i've always said to you we only do maximum three but because we have to teach this all together we cannot teach them separately we have it like this now when we present we start with the unit this is one unit this is 110 this is 100 this is 1000 periods two and three we mix it up okay when we recap we start from the thousand today we've learned 1000 100 110 and one unit because when we read numbers this is how we read them right we say 1522 that's how it's done so we lay it down and we recap that way now in that short activity we've already done something big We've planted the idea that all numbers, big or small, are made up of these building blocks. Later, when the child begins linear counting from 11 onward, we want them to already understand what 10 is. Not just as a word or a line on a number chart, but as a quantity that they've touched, counted and remembered. This work also prepares them for operations later on, like addition, multiplication and place value. Everything in Montessori builds on what came before. Nothing is isolated. Nothing is rushed. If you're an adult learner and you're wondering, why are we showing such large numbers to three and four year olds? This is why. We're not expecting them to grasp the decimal system the way an older child or an adult might. We're giving them the building blocks of understanding and these blocks stay with them. So when the time comes for larger numbers, operations or problem solving, they'll already have a strong foundation. If you're curious to explore Montessori more deeply, especially how all the math materials connect, we'd love to support you. Our Early Childhood Montessori Diploma is a 12-month fully online program designed for parents, educators and anyone who's passionate about this approach. You'll get flexible, self-paced learning with over 300 engaging videos. We have beautiful illustrated printable manuals. Every week we'll consult with you and we offer 24-7 support communities. We also have optional 10-day practice sessions in Jakarta and we have a lifetime guidance even after you complete your course. It's everything you need to feel confident, supported and ready to guide children through their early years. And yes, Montessori math is one of the most loved parts of our course. Thank you so much for being here today. And I hope this video gave you a fresh perspective on how powerful even the simplest Montessori lessons can be. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.